Hey everyone, welcome back to worship. We are almost done with our study of the Lord's Prayer. Let's see what you know or what you can remember so far. Say it with me. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Remember last week, we talked about what a debt is. Do you remember something that we owe, that we have to pay? You remember what the payment for sin is or the punishment for sin? Sin has a price, doesn't it? The punishment for sin is death. And last week, we heard the story, the good news, that even though we sin, Jesus came and he paid our debt. He died. He took our punishment for the things we did wrong. Why did he do this? He did it because he loves all of his children. He did it because he didn't want us to suffer. That means he must love us so much. The next part of the Lord's Prayer says, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hmm. Have you ever been tempted to do something you knew you shouldn't? Temptation is something our enemy, the devil, tries to use to trap us. Have you ever been trapped? I remember one time when I was just a little girl playing hide and seek with my sisters. And I thought I was being clever and I hid in the closet. The lights were off. I ducked behind some of the, th the clothes that were hanging and thought it was the best spot ever. Well, my sister knew I was in there. And do you know what she did? She trapped me in there. She locked the closet. And I could not escape. After a few minutes, it wasn't fun anymore. I was scared. Being trapped is not fun. When you're trapped, you, you feel helpless or like there's no hope and you can't get out. It can be scary. The devil wants us to be trapped because it keeps us from having our friendship, our relationship with God. Remember, God can't be where there is sin. So Satan is sneaky and he does everything he can so that we have sin. He tries to trap us and he uses something called temptation to get us to sin. Have you ever seen one of these? It's a mouse trap, right? Why do we put that little piece of cheese on there? It's a bait, isn't it? We try to catch the mouse by showing them something that they really love. Well, guess what? Satan does the same thing to us. He knows what things might tempt us to sin. For example, maybe you have a hard time with lying or cheating or watching things that you know you should not watch on the television. So he's sneaky and he tries to use those things to get us to sin. He knows just like that mouse wants that cheese. He knows the things that might tempt us to sin, and he uses them to try to trap us. Well, 
He did it to Adam and Eve. You remember them? They were the first man and woman that lived in the beautiful Garden of Eden that God created. Adam and Eve had a great life. The garden was perfect. And God only gave them one rule to follow. But guess what? Satan tempted them. He lied to them. And they gave in to temptation. Let's see what happened to them. This is Adam. Hey. And this is Eve. Hey. Who were the first people on earth. They lived in the Garden of Eden, which was a beautiful place that had everything they needed. Adam and Eve took care of the animals and could eat from any of the trees in the garden, except for one. This was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and God told them not to eat from this tree. There were lots of animals in the garden, but the serpent was the most clever of all the wild animals God had made. Hmm. One day, he asked the woman, Hey, Eve! Did God really say you must not eat the fruit from any of these trees in the garden? Eve said that they were able to eat from all of the fruit trees except the fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden. For God said, you must not eat or even touch it. If you do, you will die. No, that can't be. You won't die, said the serpent. God knows that as soon as you eat it, you will be like God, knowing both good and evil. <gasps> oh. The woman was convinced. She saw that the tree was beautiful and its fruit looked delicious, and she wanted the wisdom it would give her. So she took some of the fruit and ate it. Then she gave some to Adam and he ate it too. At that the devil trapped Eve into sinning. He lied to her and she believed him. We need to be careful not to fall into his traps like she did. How do we do that? We must pray that God will lead us away from the trap of sin. If we pray and trust him, God is so powerful. He's, he's all powerful. There's nothing that can defeat him. So all we have to do is ask him to be with us, ask him to keep us from temptation and guess what he will he loves us and he wants to do everything he can so that we can grow closer to him so that we can resist temptation and not sin so let's pray that god will help us this week that he will be with us if any temptation comes our way that it won't stand a chance because our God is bigger and greater and with us and will help us resist temptation. Let's pray. God, thank you for being with us. Thank you for always keeping your promises and for being so powerful. God, we know Satan's going to do everything he can to get us to sin. So we pray, especially right now, that this week, if Satan tries to tempt us to sin, that you'll be there right alongside us and we won't give in to temptation, that we won't sin when Satan is trying to trap us. We love you and thank you for helping us always. Thank you for each one that's watching this. God, I pray that you'll bless them and help them this week as we pray the Lord's Prayer. Be with us this week. We love you, God, and praise you for who you are and mostly for sending Jesus because of your great love. In your name we pray, amen. Well, this week might get hard if Satan's trying to tempt us, 
let's be sure to keep trusting God. He's with us and he'll make sure we don't get trapped into sinning. I will see you next week for the last part of the Lord's Prayer. It's one of my favorite parts. For now, keep practicing and send me a video so that I know that you have learned this very special prayer. Have a great week. Bye-bye. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. Amen.